Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So we're trying to get this organ restored by Christmas or at least playable. So today we've got Duncan the electrician in who's wiring up the organ. Michael also will be restoring the bellows today, which is a very important job because it can't play without them. Um, my dad and Yanis are doing other jobs in the convent so we can catch up with them a little bit later. But also, very interestingly today, we've got an organ builder coming to visit us and he's gonna give us a bit of advice, maybe a hand, so we better crack on. Okay, everyone, hello. Um, this is in front of me, this is the, the forward wind chest um, for the organ and the pipes, a lot of the pipes sit on top of this. Um, now it has a cover, I discovered this yesterday, it has a cover that you can take off and um, we've discovered, we've opened a whole new can of worms basically. So if you can see these, they're like little dampers that are pulled down, pulled down by these um, levers underneath and they're absolutely full of well, it could be a century's worth of dust. Um, and that, obviously these may need to make a tight seal when they close. So if there's dust in the way, then they're going to. So my first job today, I did one yesterday, one behind us. Um, my job today is to get this spotless before I start working on the, uh, the bellows, because they need repairing. So I need a vacuum and an air compressor and a lot of patience. Bye. 
Okay, good morning and welcome back to day seven of the Grand Organ Rebuild. It's week two, we are cracking on. Um, there's a bit of a surprise and a reveal is that behind the camera I'm talking to, Alex, part of the team, he's back. He's been away. I was waving, sorry. Nick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying, no, don't tell anyone I'm here. No, you're here. He's here, he's back, and it's great to have him. Uh, uh, Billy's concentrating on all the other projects he's got going on, so it just gives him that opportunity. Um, so again, another part of the team just really um, moves it to another level, so we're really pleased to have him back. Today, my job is the left hand, sorry, the right hand side, all the actuators, Michael's doing a fantastic job cleaning all those valves we spoke of. Um, so once this side's in, um, we're, we're on to the bellows and Michael's going to um, have a look at what leather work needs repairing and then we've got a bit of repair work to do on the wind chest on the left hand side. But all in all, we're just really happy um, the way it's going, um, really happy that you guys are enjoying how it's going and um, yeah, onwards and upwards, so let's crack on. doing here is um, getting all the brambles and roots and old trees that have been grown here for the last 10 years that's been touched and uh, we're trying to tidy the place up a bit um, so we can grow vegetables in here eventually not like it used to be that's what the nuns used to do grow all the vegetables for this part here so um, trying to get the place tidy again otherwise it just gets, you know, just gets overgrown again I'm trying to get the big roots out. The root, there's a root there, it's massive. I've run it for the last half an hour. Still have not come out. If you don't take them out, they grow again, you see. So um, that's what we're up to this morning. So as soon as Michael finishes the valves that he's cleaning on the front wind chest, he's gonna start restoring the bellows, which is essentially the air reserve for the entire organ. But to restore it, it needs to be on trestles and we need to try and lift the top up so it's sort of, as it fills with air, it raises. So um, comes in this beautiful lift. So we're gonna bring this into the chapel, but we're gonna go a different route this time because um, last time we went that way and it didn't work out very well. So we're gonna go outside into the car park, left and down through the chapel main door. So let's do it. Ooh. That would help. alive. That's a bit of a tight squeeze, isn't it? Let me open this one. There we go. Right. 
We're outside. I wonder what the locals will think. <laughs> this is full speed, by the way. Yeah, we're definitely not getting up that ramp because even cars struggle to get up that, so I'm going to find a bit of wood. I think this might work. I mean, it's not that bad. It just needs to be sort of a bit like that. Yeah, we'll try that. Doesn't look wide enough, but let's give it a go. Off-roading in a lift. Okay, this is going to require something a bit more creative, I think, Alex. Okay. <laughs> I'll get some more wood. <laughs> Aha, more wood. It's gonna work. It's gonna work, I swear. Yeah, let's go for it. I need a push. No, I don't. Oh, I mean, I've got it in. It's literally in the chapel. And right, nobody on this vlog has seen how high this goes before. So in the kitchen, it's only about four meters. That's it. That's how high it goes. It's a bit wobbly though. So, I have finished cleaning the, the front wind chest uh, and this is the result. I am... Um... Keep it down. I'm, um, I'm going to have to go and wash my hands now. I think a lot of this, it could have been soot from the cathedral because they used to have pot-bellied stoves that um, used to burn coal that might be soot or it might just be the graphite powder from, from in the top that's gone in, but it's on me now. Uh, and at least it's not in the wind chest, so that's the result. <laughs> so we're trying to just work out the yeah the in there, but I don't know to what degree. It's all in the correct position, that's in the right position. Um Bring it out, bring it out for all that's it. Put it down. From this end, do you want to see the other It's heavy. And I'm trapped. Oh, it's too warm.
Are we on it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Well, that wasn't too bad. So now what we've got to do essentially is lift it back. Not that is on the top. We've got to have it like that for Michael. Right, yeah. That's... And this goes to the mechanism above yeah. and it moves a little piece of yeah, that's uh, been cut, steel. That one. That needs to no, I think it string. just ties up to there. It's only a short one. Oh, is it? And as it goes up and down, the organ organist can tell how much he's got in the tank. Yeah. And then the other pulley mechanism works off this as well. And what it does is, if there's too much air in here, or if it's, if it's a capacity, it drops that little mm -hmm. curtain. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's like... Stuff. Mega engineered. Yeah. So I need to give the clean first. Yeah. And then assess, do the, you dam do assess your magic. the damage. Do your magic, Michael. Do yeah. your magic. Uh, when it's full of air, it raises up. So for Michael to be able to restore it and access parts of it, it needs to be open. So, um, yeah, we're using a bit of timber, the lift, and some straps, and it should work, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, so 
We are here with Martin from Pipe Up for Pipe Organs, which is a brilliant um, charity, isn't it? Yeah. For rescuing these beautiful instruments. And uh, Martin has been doing it all his life uh, from, from a, had an interest at a young age, and that's just flourished into doing what he's doing now, which is kind of what we're doing here, which is rescuing uh, this one but he does it all over the country um, and he's very very experienced and he's been kind enough to come here and give us a few pointers and it's been well, great to have you very grateful to see, to see something happening i mean well, it's wonderful we actually. haven't got any black marks in the book just <laughs> yet <so> far. <laughs> keeps me awake at night sometimes thinking yeah. of these all this fantastic craftsmanship that's just being wasted mm. and if you've ever built an organ from scratch then you know it What's takes involved. a long time and how many different sorts of craftsmanship are involved. Yeah. How many techniques are involved. It's not just wood, it's not just metal, it's all sorts of things, ivory and me you know, fine metal work. Yeah. And that's before you get you to, to make the pipes themselves, which yeah. is an art in itself, and making them speak and sing properly mm. as well. And, and then all happening at the right that, time. It all has all, to come together. Well, it does eventually. It's, mm. it's a long haul. And then that last 5%, suddenly, yes, things start, start yeah. to happen. That's what we're looking for at the moment, the last 5%. You won't get there quite yet, but <laughs> that's going to be the interesting thing. Um, but I, I, I go back to that and um, what Martin just touched on. I watched um, what Billy, some of you may have seen it when, they went to England to London Bridge and Martin has his organ there and that's for public people to, oh yes um, so you can as you'd walk through the 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 station sometimes you people might have seen pianos there's a working organ there so advice yeah. is to go and play it because it yep. sounded fantastic what well, a beautiful space and it won't be the only one we, we're still talking to network mm. rail about other stations not just in London Really? Uh, and in fact, we've got one at a shopping centre in Croydon as well. So it's like product placement for old organs, because <laughs> what that means it's is... It's not just that. The important thing is this. You see, with churches closing, people have far less access to organs, or people don't go to the church anyway to start mm. with. And so we thought, well, there's only one way to, call, to solve that problem, is to Put get the organs to them. To them. Yes. Did you know, and people come all ages, all countries, all ethnicities, mm. Everything, it's quite astonishing. The ultimate thing yeah. that I'm actually trying to get over to other organ builders, they must do things sustainably mm. and they must make sure that things are ready for the future as well. Yeah. They're future-proofed. Yeah. In other words, you don't put modern screws into organs because 100 years' time, who's going to be able to take those in and out? Exactly. In 100 years' time, anyone can make a screwdriver, well, actually, a normal screwdriver. Well, actually, funny you should say that because... This is, oh, this is Billy and Michael's, or the Petherick family's screwdriver. The, it's the family heirloom. And it ah, was wonderful. unbelievable. And you see, you can make, do anything with that. You can sharpen that as much yeah. as you like. You can do, and you can actually, but you can't, you can't, you can't do that buy with them. a cruciform screw. You, and, you, and that's the thing. With this, because I, I said to Mick when we went to disassemble it, I knew they'd all be flat-headed flat -headed screws. Yeah. But this is amazing. You, you can just get hold of it and actually use it. And the, some of these, as you know, are ridiculously tough to get out. They of. can be if they've but been you, in a damp church. But, but you show amazing. that to a screw and it gets frightened and comes yeah. out straight away. Pops <laughs> out, really yeah. Useful. There you go. It's looking better now that, that there's less bits on the floor and there's more here. So we, well. we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> well, you'll get there in a, a while. But thank, anyway, thank it's you, fantastic thank to see you. it's actually going on. It's so exciting. And right? good luck with Pipe Up for Pipe Organs. Well, because so um, And if any of you guys obviously following or you enjoy it, it's yeah. something you're interested in, just go there and yeah, see please. it because it's a very, very yeah. worthy cause. Yes, please do, do follow us. We're, we've got a meeting tomorrow and uh, we're going to be enlarging our scope enormously yeah. in the next few months. Mm. But just go on it, have a look and preserve those artefacts which mm. would otherwise they will just end up getting absorbed into the ether. If we have to move organs, we need people to help to do it. And, yeah. uh, we, we, on the site, the Pipe Up site, which is www.pipe-up, Org UK. We do now ask for volunteers and we're getting people and it's wonderful and we'll be able to, I hope, get groups together in different parts of the country who can keep an eye on what's going on and then, if necessary, go in and get the organs. Many hands make light work. So here, true with organs. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly that. So um, no, thank you and uh, we hope to see you soon. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, hello everyone. I've spent the afternoon doing something very important. Um, 
So these are the bellows, and on the edges here, they're all um, all the seams are done with this very soft um, sheepskin leather, very very thin, um, and that obviously just is a flexible seal, um, so that when they open up and close like that, the air doesn't come out. But over time, it splits. Um, so what I've been doing is I've got here, if you can see, this is a rabbit. No, I think it's hide glue mixture. I don't know what it's made of. It smells mm. like bones. I don't know. Um, but it's, we have to use that because it's what they used to build the organs originally and we, we have to use the same methods. Um, so if you can see here, I've been patching up. This was quite badly split here. Um, all of this was split. Um, and we've put all of these sort of curved bits on to strengthen the corners, little patches here so that they don't split. Uh, and I found something quite interesting. You can see there, there's like a black mark. Um, and because the organ is full of soot, you can see where the air has been leaking because there's black marks on the leather. So that needs a patch. Um, I put a patch here, a patch here on the corners. I've done the other corner over there, which was really bad. You could get your, your hand in it. Um, and uh, we're gonna see how that dries. Um, have a look at it tomorrow. And if it works, I'll continue doing what I've been doing. So I think that's a successful day. What have you been doing, Nick? I mean, the, the heart of the organ. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. It's been an incredibly successful day, everyone. Michael's done a great job. Nick's done a great job. Duncan's done a fantastic job. And also you met the organ builder. So he came here, he shared some insight and some tips and things like that. And he's guiding us a little bit as well as Father Paul. So it's great to have another, another professional helping us. So um, yeah, it'll be the same thing tomorrow, but I'm gonna be in the kitchen doing some other jobs. And yeah, hopefully we can get this beautiful organ built by Christmas. So thank you everyone for watching this video today and I'll see you all tomorrow.